Hello there, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing about uh, utilizing a color picker dialog in WPF. By default, uh, WPF does not provide any color picker dialog. I have created a new uh, test project uh, and I have uh, added uh, NuGet packages as well. So, I added a uh, Haley WPF uh, latest version 5.1.0. So, any version above this should be containing a uh, color picker dialog go into your app so the moment you install your nuget package you will get a notes from the notes just copy the resource dictionary this is a common resource dictionary for adding the style so take this and go to your uh, app.saml and uh, paste it inside your resource dictionary if you are done with this then you are set to go namespace so i will add a namespace Haley WPF Haley MVVM. Okay, so the color picker inside uh, Haley comes in two flavors one is as a control, and other is uh, both are a control, but one you can embed in your uh, development, the other you can use it to open up a window. So, first I will start uh, with a simple uh, button. So, let's say let's let's make it as a stack panel stack panel so it'll first uh, let me run this without doing anything so that is my application we have a rectangle here but it is not visible at present uh, press your uh, button wherever you are you should be able to open up a color picker uh, dialog so this color picker dialog comes with uh, three settings you can uh, show the rgb components where you can adjust you can hide them you can hide the palette so pretty much the usage is uh, straightforward you can uh, select a hue adjust uh, saturation and uh, uh, brightness you can also adjust from here okay so let's select a color and transparency is 100 confirm so this is the selected color now we have one more option here which is uh, for adding the favorite so the default colors are here if you uh, need any system uh, colors uh, like the ones that you find in uh, visual studio you can directly set them up if you have uh, selected a color and you want to add it when you add it here it will be added to your uh, favorites the favorites you can delete them one by one or if you want to delete everything right click clear all favorites so all stored uh, favorites just click ok and everything is gone you can add them let's do it here well, let me close and let's name this uh... so the color picker button gives you two properties one is your uh, selected brush um, selected brush and then it has selected color so you can get uh, two properties from your color both are dependency properties so which means that uh, you can uh, bind them using your uh, view model in case you are going with the uh, mvvm approach you can bind them you can also get them from your code behind you can also bind them to other elements like this so let us try now okay so it works fine so this is how you will be using your uh, color picker uh, button directly but in case you do not wish to use the color picker button but uh, you want to use or embed the control yourself uh, you can directly use color picker control okay let us try this now So this one has the same feature, but if you want to embed inside your control, you want you don't want a pick button, you want to embed somewhere, you can use this approach. Uh, pretty much the concept is the same. 
Now you have uh, other features as well here. First feature, you can uh, have a mode which is uh, compact full mini. Let's say compact. Let me split it like this. So what does compact give? Let us add that here and see how it works. Mode. Display mode. Okay, so the display mode is only for the color picker button. So compact. Let us just try with compact now. So the compact is you do not get your uh, RGB components. So RGB components are hidden now. And if you don't want your uh, palettes, then that is mini. If you want RGB alone, this is here. You can always right click and you can uh, change the settings. <clears throat> if you want to do this here, you have the options to hide a color palette. True. Let me do something. So you have your uh, hide color palette is true. Let me put false. So if the color palette is not hidden, it's like this. And you can hide your uh, RGB components through. Save this. And for the color picker button, instead of, let us first check the compact. This is compact. Close it. Let me put mini and save it. So mini is something like this. You see, you can, <laughs> You get a small uh, one and you see this uh, image here the text uh, if you don't want that uh, there you can set mini info uh, so info okay it's based on mini so let's sit here mini info show mini info is false if i set it to true then I get it here, the bottom. So that's how you will be using the color picker control and also your uh, color picker uh, button. Uh, color picker ember. The thing with ember is that when you move, it is uh, changing instantly. So it's like you don't have the opportunity to select something and then cancel it. Uh, uh, you will not be able to do that when you are dealing with a color picker embedded controller, something like this. Uh, let's see, let's change it to blue, let's change it to dim gray, let's change it to medium object. So, whatever you do here, the color is instantly getting changed. Uh, but whereas, if you want to do, let us add one more rectangle now. This rectangle it will be binded to your color picker not the embedded one so we have two rectangles here the first rectangle is binded to the color picker button and the second rectangle is binded to the color picker embedded control in the embedded control you have the option to select something but you don't want to confirm you are just testing it out you close it and it's fine you add something confirm so the moment you press confirm only then the color is applied but when you're dealing with the embedded control, you move something, the moment you move, it is getting reflected. Let's say show RGB components, you change the transparency. There you go. So this is how you deal with the color picker button and color picker uh, control, which is the embedded one. If you don't want to deal with both and you want to uh, do it from your code behind, let me add a new button. And uh, let's call it as content is. Just remember to add Haley MVVM and then Haley dot services because the color picker dialog is present inside um, Haley services. So color picker dialog. Color picker dialog, uh, you, you can also add this uh, to your uh, dependency injection to a container uh, because color picker dialog uh, implements i color picker service. So you can um, uh, 
register your uh, dependencies like this in case you are dealing with uh, dependency injection and ioc variable new dialog is equal to new color picker dialog the color picker dialog you can always uh, set your uh, favorites so set favorites so it's like uh, you want to save some uh, colors to your file local and then you want to bring them back you can use it you don't want to set them you can use the new dialog that's set options so you can uh, define whether you want to show the mini info or not a maximum favorites uh, those kind of things since the color picker uh, since the color picker dialog uh, favorites is a static property we are directly calling it from the class instead of calling it from the instance You want to show it in uh, display mode uh, generally it is coming with compact mode let us try this now okay there we go so this time when you click this you will be directly opening it up but let me put it here when you click the button you want to delete from the code behind and there you go the same thing and that's it uh, so we have three ways of using it uh, if you want to directly use it using a button you use a color picker button or you use a color picker embedded control or else you go to your uh, code behind and use it and while you are at it uh, i will suggest you to take a look at uh, some of the interesting features present in color returns so the color returns now contain this is a new feature added to haley services Kelly utils it's, it's present in MVVM so <clears throat> this we can use to uh, send in a color and uh, get the hex value send in RGB to hex HSV and um, if you want to get the list of system colors you can get the list of system colors so this will turn you uh, the list of uh, colors uh, that is uh, by default present in Visual Studio and uh, as of now that's it for uh, using uh, color picker please do let know your uh, feedback on this and I will catch you up soon in another video thank you